common man when immigrants enter the country to compete for and oftentimes take over U.S. jobs. Most U.S. born American citizens aspire to grow up and secure a substantial job and provide for a family. Sadly, this goal cannot always be attained. Many hardworking Americans are trying to find jobs, and several of these citizens are not succeeding and fall into unemployment. On top of that, immigrants flushing into the country at extra, an extra level of difficulty for American job seekers. Oftentimes, immigrants enter the U.S. and are willing to work for the same job as a U.S. citizen, but for less pay. The same issue rose in the early 19th century with the influx of Irish and German immigrants, as shown by Source B. During the late 19th century, the same trend appears with the Chinese Exclusion Act, which halted the immigration of Chinese labor laborers to the U.S. immigration to the U.S. Immigration undercuts the average American worker out of a job and a paycheck. Source A states that. One of Mexico's largest revenue streams consists of money sent home by legal immigrants and illegal aliens working in the United States. This is a massive transfer of wealth from America, essentially from America as displaced or working to Mexico. This important statement shows that when these immigrants steal jobs away from American-born citizens, the money is taken right out of the U.S. economy. The money cannot be placed back into American pockets through the purchasing of American goods and services in the marketplace. Instead of the money being recycled back into our own economy, it goes to benefit other ostentatious foreign countries, predominantly Mexico due to its massive amount of immig immigration into the United States. It is extremely unfair that jobs that can be held by American citizens to help create better lives for, the, for them are being taken away by immigrants who would turn the money elsewhere. Hardworking citizens of the United States should have the opportunity to live out the American dream. Two minutes. Rebuttal? Oops. So you're saying Sorry. for your point that American jobs are taken and immigration hurts the economy, but according to Source A, they're actually just filling essential working positions. And as those are filled, subsidiary jobs are created, which increases productivity and lowers costs of goods and services across the whole entire country which is positive for the economy. And as we already stated in our point two, the pay that they receive is taxed, and these taxes go to Medicare, Medicaid, and Social Security. And as more money goes to these associations, it is then <coughs> resulted in all American people across the whole entire United States having more access to health care, which benefits the whole country. And what you're saying is workers send home the money. Farms make exponentially more money than the immigrants. That's how business works. If they didn't, they couldn't pay them. America wins in the end. And as you see, a lot of industrial labor relation disputes is that the employers, the farms, are actually paying below minimum wage illegally. Americans are being illegal, paying immigrants less than minimum wage. And so they're winning. The immigrants aren't. America is winning. Okay, one, one minute. Point five. Roll. Immigration promotes multiculturalism and diversity in our nation. Our country was founded upon this very policy. America began with people coming from all over the world because they had a dream of freedom and of living a life of fulfillment and community. This country has provided an environment for those freedoms to exist and still does. It would be unjust and cruel to treat others as servile, suppressed beings and to deny them the same freedoms to think and act in accordance to their conscience as the rest of us do. Diversity allows America to flourish and progress as we seek to understand and value each other's perspective and ideas. According to Source E, Amnesty promotes immigration which brings people with many different backgrounds and beliefs. These nurtured experiences contribute to an individual's thoughts and ideas which ultimately strengthen and innovates debate. People from all different backgrounds and beliefs have all contributed to the very ideas that have set America apart. This can be seen in our government today. Democracy only works when relying upon the exchange of ideas from all points of view of different cultures, religions, and ethnic groups. The reason authority is such a key aspect of gaining knowledge is because we do not have all the answers ourselves and must lean on each other's different outlooks on life to maximize our potential and growth as a nation. Our melting pot like society is what makes us great as a nation, bringing all different ways of life together. Immigration is the tool that brings us unique diversity of people and ideas to our country. One minute, 17 seconds. <clears throat>
rebuttal? Um, you say that there's a mix of cultures, but for a long time there have been just communities, pockets of people of different races, and so they, there's no mixing between them if they're just staying within their own little groups. And then also you spoke about how uh, democracy and there was all the different people who helped contribute to it. However, for the longest time, democracy and voting were only open to white males. Okay, 30 seconds. Point five, con. Well, many people think that immigrants come to America for a fresh start, a chance to work hard, and find a better life. This couldn't be further from the truth. These listless immigrants have no intentions of providing for themselves or creating a stable life. Instead, they become dependent on the United States government and take money from American citizens. Every month, hardworking American citizens pay both federal and state taxes that are used to invest in education, technology, and to provide goods and services to American people. Despite the fact that many illegals hold jobs and are therefore subject to an income tax, they are often paid under the counter and escape this tax. Despite not paying these taxes themselves, immigrants are more than happy to reap their benefits as billions of taxpayer dollars go toward illegal aliens every year, according to Source E. Not only are immigrants becoming dependent on the United States economy and wreaking havoc on the economy, but they are stealing from hardworking Americans. The economic and social consequences of illegal immigration are staggering. Illegal aliens have cost billions of taxpayer-funded dollars for medical services. Immigration is a net drain on the economy. Corporate interests reap the benefits of cheap labor, while taxpayers pay the infrastructural cost of $60 billion or are earned by illegal aliens in the U.S. each year, according to Source A. Many believe this problem will be solved by granting amnesty to illegals already in the country so that they can be paid legitimately, legitimately and start paying taxes. However, this is misguided as even if amnesty were to pass, the immigrants may also require the assistance from governmental welfare programs which could add up to trillions of dollars over the course of their lifetimes, according to Source e. Once again, these immigrants and their corporate are sucking up the money of hardworking American citizens like yourselves who have proved your work and earned your right to live in this country while they have just come here to reach off to us. One minute, 54 seconds. Rebuttal. Okay, so in, in that they, they're supposedly becoming dependent on the U.S. government, illegal immigrants um, it, you need legal immigration papers to be, or some sort of citizenship to actually be able to receive welfare in the first place. So illegal immigrants can't even, unless they're, unless they're going to force, forge their documents, which is not, those are extremely um, sensitive documents that are very hard to do. And um, legal immigrants can't even receive welfare for five years until they, after they've been in the country. So And also, you don't pay income tax on the first $1,500 you earn. and. When you're making minimum wage, which you say immigrants work for less than, you're paying a tiny fraction in income tax. That's like if you added it all up, maybe a few million dollars. Whereas the own president of the United States won't even release his income tax returns. Why aren't you worried about that? Okay, 48 seconds. All right.